Hello everyone, I am from Hetha Water Solutions and today we will discuss about an amazing technology which we use in our waste water treatment plant that is the process of electrocoagulation. Are you aware about the electrocoagulation process? It is a waste water treatment process that entails the operation of a low voltage direct electric current and metallic electrodes, commonly aluminium or iron, to stabilize or to destabilize water pollutants that are already suspended, emulsified or dissolved. It is a small continuous device that uses a specifically built reactor with metal plates or metallic electrodes. This method produces high amounts of cations which destabilize remaining pollutants in the water forming complex hydroxides that can absorb contaminants and form segregates or flocks. Gas on the other hand develops causing turbulence and pushing flock to the surface. Chemical oxidation which oxidizes metals and non-toxic contaminants while reducing COD and BOD is another fantastic benefit of the electrocoagulation process. As every process goes through some stage, the electrocoagulation process undergoes three main stages. The first one is electrolytic oxidation and in-situ coagulate formulation. That is, in this stage, the sacrificial electrode, usually iron or aluminium, is electrolytically oxidized, resulting in the creation of oxides, aluminium hydroxide or oxyhydroxide. The second stage is destabilization of contaminants, emulsions, and particulates. In this stage, the ions produced by the sacrificial electrode's oxidation interact to compress the diffuse double layers surrounding charged contaminating species. Ions created by this dissolution of the sacrificial electrode neutralize the ionic species in wastewater, reducing electrostatic interparticle repulsion. When this repulsion is reduced, van der Waals attraction takes over causes coagulation. The final stage is the formation of flock through aggregation of destabilized phases and particulates. In this stage, the active surfaces for the absorption of contaminating species are provided by oxides, hydroxides and oxyhydroxides. The flock generated by coagulation entraps and connects collider particles that remain in the aqueous medium. At the anode, electrolyzed water creates some small bubbles of oxygen and the cathode small bubbles of hydrogen. The bubbles attract flocculated particles causing them to float to the surface. The electrocoagulated flocks contain less surface water, they are acid resistant and more stable and can be separated more easily. Furthermore, electrocoagulation is a low cost technology that requires little investment and upkeep. In addition to being a technology for treating waste water, it has also become a highly attractive process to use before reverse osmosis that is the pre-treatment for reverse osmosis since it facilitates the desalination of the water to be treated. To know more about this technology and how it eases your wastewater treatment procedures, keep with Netsa water solutions and learn how we capitalize on the best aspects of plastic electrocoagulation, solve its challenges and provide a totally different and superior technique. For further query, feel free to contact us. Also like, share and subscribe our channel for latest updates. Thank you so much.